Hello there. So, I've had several people ask me uh, about the game stick and how it works. And the game stick is actually this really affordable, not very good Android device. It's really underpowered, but not underpowered enough that you can't do quite a few things with it once you actually uh, have a custom ROM on it. So anyway, I'm going to show a few things that you can do with it. Um, it's really worth having once you uh, once you can unlock it, but out of the box, it's terrible. There's no getting around it. It's got a bunch of overpriced games, and I have a feeling that the company's probably going to go out of business. You're not going to see any support for it, and you're probably not even going to be able to log into the thing unless you use a custom ROM. So anyway, I'm just going to show you the benefits of... Uh, Unlocking it. All right, so here's the actual box of the game stick. I already took everything out of it. Um, actually, the packaging is pretty nice on it. Um, a lot nicer than some of the other features on it. But anyway, so to the actual device. All right, so you got the controller, which the whole uh, whole thing they're trying to do with this is to, like say, okay, we have a super compact Android device and you know it, it'll fit inside the controller which the controller is obnoxiously big actually it's not very comfortable um, yeah uh, the Bluetooth pairing on it is pretty terrible uh, I mean it like it's significantly terrible it's it's not very good if you've ever messed with an Ouya they actually sync better than this does I've actually synced Ouya controllers to the game stick and it actually worked way better than this does. So anyway, um, so this is the controller, but the actual device is inside here, which I might have to set this down for a second to get it out because it seems to be stuck inside there. Ah, there it goes. So you push that up. Here's the actual device. Um, definitely not very big. Um, plugs right into your HDMI port and then you got your power port right there which is uh, micro USB there you go um, over here is where your micro SD card will go in and let's see if we can see it hmm okay right next to the micro USB and focus is there it is very tiny but it's a reset switch too that's all it's to the device so we'll set that aside like I said not very big also what comes in the package is okay first off this is like a Y splitter uh, USB and so on the one side you got micro USB and then on the other side you've got USB and then a female USB and what this is for is most TVs now have USB plugs on them. so you take your micro USB plug it into here into your actual game stick and then the male part of it will plug into your uh, female USB plug on your TV and that will actually supply enough power to the game stick and what's super nice about this is this female end you can hook any USB device up to it um, I use a USB mouse is really nice for this um, you can hook up a wired Xbox 360 controller, which works great for it. Um, you can use a keyboard, you know, that'll work fine with it. Uh, you can use this to hook up external hard drives, and I'll pick up external hard drives with this. Uh, let's see, uh, I think, no, actually I know for a fact you can even use a PS3 controller, but if you have the uh, USB cord hooked up to the PS3 controller, it will also work with this, which is actually really nice. This is fantastic. Um, okay, so you got this. 
this doesn't really, eh, it's, it serves some of a function. All this basically does is if your port, your uh, HDMI ports are close to each other on your TV, which I've installed one on one TV and it actually was conflicting with the other ports and it was in the way, all this does is it extends it out. Plug this into here, and then you can kind of move it out of the way or whatever. Anyway, I generally don't use those, but hey, it's there. Okay. Alright, and then we have this, which is just more of the same of this here. It's just, um, I don't know why you wouldn't ever use or want to use the cord that's got the uh, the female USB on it, but anyway, that's the possibility. Or, alternatively, you can use this on here, which is just your standard AC, and when you have these two plugged together and plugged into your game stick, it'll work instead of if you don't actually have a uh, USB port on your HDMI TV. Also, when these are plugged in together, that is how you can charge this controller. But, I, as I've said, this controller is junk. I mean, it is functional, and that is about the extent of this thing. It, it works, kind of. So, if, if you absolutely have to use this thing, and you can't get a hold of a mouse or something, um, just know that you're going to have a lot of problems with this. It doesn't like to sync. Uh, the feedback is terrible. I, it, it's it's just junk. Just it, just try to stay away from that. All right. Now we'll go to the actual game stick itself. All right. So I booted up the game stick onto my uh, TV, and this is the custom ROM that's installed on it. Um. One nice thing about the game stick, with it being powered by the USB, if you have it powered by the USB, as soon as you turn on your TV, it's powering on the device. And for example, mine's on HDMI 2, um, it'll, it'll start booting up the device. It takes about a minute from a cold boot to get into the, uh, the actual home screen. And then, you know, people have asked, what can you really do with this? And, well, pretty much anything that you can do with any Android device. I mean, you know, really the sky's the limit on it. So I've actually, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, used a USB mouse, wired, which if you have a wireless and a uh, dongle USB mouse, you can use that. Um, you can also sync up through Bluetooth a Bluetooth mouse, or Bluetooth mouse and keyboard will also work. But, just for this, I'm going to use a mouse. Um, however, you can actually hook up a powered hub to that one female USB, and then connect it as far as I know as many devices up to the console as you want. Which, I may do one day, but as for now, what I use it for, it's good enough. So, anyway, let's get my mouse going here. Alright. So here we go. So one of the first things that you'll probably want to put on the game stick is it's XBMC, but it's a special version or a fork of XBMC that's called SPMC. So you'll want to go to that. And you'll notice when you go to SPMC you have all sorts of movies and TV shows that you can watch through here once you install the uh, correct repositories. So, for example, my favorite add-on on here is Genesis. So you load up Genesis and you can actually favorite all your movies and TV shows and get to like My Genesis. So here's my favorite TV shows. And so anyway, 
What's nice about this is these are all, all these uh, episodes are actually on free servers and they're generally uploaded about 20 minutes after the episode is aired. So for example, if something airs at 8 p.m., you'll probably be able to watch it around 9.20 p.m. Assuming it's an hour show. So anyway, we'll get out of this. Okay, go back one more. Let's go to movies. Let's go to... People watching. That's just movies that people are watching right now. And yes, it actually is 3.19 a.m. Okay, it's taking a little bit longer than the service might be. Getting overloaded. Okay, so here we go. Here's all the movies that people are currently watching. Um, you know, Guardians of the Galaxy and such. So anyway, we'll click on one of these. This is going to load up all the different servers that it's on. Okay, here you go. It's on a ton of them. <laughs> and, okay, actually this is new, I've never even seen this before. Apparently there's actually uh, 3D versions of it, too. But anyway, um, yeah, so let's, for the sake of it, let's, let's go to this particular source. For VK, for whatever reason, always seems to like the better sources, so we'll click on that. And sometimes you have to wait and find a good source, because some of them will be down, or they'll be slow and the buffering will take forever. But anyway, some of them will work just fine, but you'll just have to keep trying until you find one that you really like, or that actually buffers almost instantaneously. And yes, that is my dog drinking water in the background. Okay, awesome. So, that's a source that didn't work. And you will find that this isn't without its problems. Um, I mean, sometimes you'll find a source that works right off. Sometimes you gotta kinda search around. Um, generally your SD sources you'll be able to use right off. The HD doesn't always work. So we'll click on SD, standard definition. See if one of these will work. It's going, it's buffering. And there you go. There's the movie. I mean, you know, you can't really ask for better than that. So anyway, let's skip it along. But yeah, it's, I mean, it definitely does the job. On my command! Number one! So so anyway, that's the movie. Alright. Now I will back out all this. But that's XBMC, if you don't know what XBMC is. Exit out of that. So, um, I mean, you can go to the Play Store, install all your normal apps that you would if, uh, if uh, you know, you had uh, any other Android device. I mean, it'll install just like anything else. Anyway, we'll get out of the Google Store. And then I'll show you kind of some of the emulators I installed on here. 
Um, this is a Neo Geo emulator. This is a Mega Drive or Genesis emulator, uh, Game Boy Color. This is Retro Arch here, which is actually my favorite emulator. And that's actually the same emulator that's inside Retron 5, which they got in a lot of trouble for, so that's kind of funny. Uh, EPSXE, that's a PlayStation 1 emulator. And believe it or not, the PlayStation 1 actually plays pretty decently on here. I've played through Silent Hill on this and Resident Evil on this, and uh, completely playable. Um, got some web browsers. I uh, got some games on here. Uh, Scum VM, that's your point and click adventures from LucasArts. You can play all those on here just fine. Um, Dropbox, uh, DOSBox Turbo, I love that program. You can run all your old DOS games through that. Um, Pandora, you know what that is, I'm sure. You can play internet music. Netflix is on here, which will play fine. YouTube will play fine. Um, so yeah. I mean, it'll do everything pretty much that you could possibly want it to do. Uh, I mean, it doesn't it doesn't play the best games that are on the Ouya, or I'm sorry, on the uh, Android um, market. I mean, some of the higher end ones. It, I mean, it, it'll it'll run some stuff. For example, uh, The Walking Dead by Telltale Games. It will play but it runs kind of slow but any of your older or non like your games that don't demand that much power behind them it should run just fine I'm actually looking into actually overclocking the game stick which may or may not make things faster I don't know I won't know until I actually have a chance to try and overclock the game stick but uh, the device actually gets pretty hot on its own the way it is, so I don't know how much overclocking capabilities it might have. I um, guess we can go to some of the specs on here. This actually is 1080p, the front end on here. Um, okay, so we'll go to Bluetooth. This is the Bluetooth stuff I have. So there's a game stick, there's a Bluetooth keyboard. Uh, Okay, developer options, you know, it's it's a completely rooted Android device. We'll go to about device. Okay, so yeah, it is running, I believe that's Jelly Bean 4.1.2. Um, yeah, got your build number and everything. Um, I don't know. If there's any questions, just uh, leave them in the comments and I'll uh, try to get back to you guys. But uh, anyway, yeah, for as little as you can get these devices for, it's definitely worth picking one up. But know that if you don't have a custom ROM on here, the game stick is pretty much useless. But once it's unlocked, it's probably one of the greatest things you'll have in your home. Anyway, thanks for watching.